In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Anidin to the Telegram API, which would allow you to build chatbots and advanced automation workflows. So let's start by adding the Telegram trigger node. Click on the plus sign and search for Telegram. So now I have these Telegram triggers. So I'm going to select on on message. Then you'll see this fresh note. Now click on the credentials button. Even though I already have a credential, I'm going to remake it to show you. So click on create new credentials. And now you need the access token. So either you can read the entire docs. I've also included all the information here. So firstly, you need Telegram account. If you don't already have one, you should make it. After you have the account, open this link. So now I'm going to copy this link, and this is going to trigger the main bot, which allows you to create different bots. So I'm going to open Telegram, and now it triggers it. So it's, I can click on Start. So the next command that I need is slash new bot. So I can, so either you can manually type it, or you can just come here and you will see the slash new bot. So now it's going to ask me for the name and the username, and those are two different things. So for the name, you can name it anything, but for the username, it must be unique and must end with a bot. And there are a few other general requirements, for example, that it shouldn't be longer than 32 letters and certain special characters are not allowed. So firstly, I'm going to give it a name. I'll just say Dorian Demo. And then I'll say Dorian Demo Bot, because I have to end it with bot. And if it's unique, it's going to let me go through. So now you can see I have this access token here. I'm going to copy this access token. And there it says copy to the clipboard. So I'm going to go back here and paste the access token here. Now my Telegram account has been linked to Anidin. And now I can run my bot at this link. So if I click on this, you'll see a bot is ready. So now what I'll do is come back in this trigger. And now I'll say listen for the webhook. I'll click test step. So now it's listening. And it has already received the message because I entered the start message. If I try to listen it again, and then I will add hello world, you can see that it's going to trigger the webhook. And here I have the letter. So now you have this entire thing set up, but there's one more thing you need to know. So this is a webhook, but when you're using the normal Telegram node, for example, firstly, I'll add the edit fields and then I'll add Telegram and then I'll select some general node, for example, send a text message. So when you use this node, so now you can see there are a few things you need to configure. The first, the first important thing is credentials, which you already have it done. But now I'll make a message here. So I'll just say message just to keep it modular. And I'll just say hello again. And then if I run this node, you'll see I have the message and I can send the message here. Right. But in the chat ID, you need the chat ID. If you're using the webhooks, you already get the chat ID. You'll see that there is a chat ID, the first trigger, which is here. So there is a form ID. So this is your chat ID. And if you send this message back, you'll see that this message appears here. So hello again, this message was sent automatically with any day. So now you can see how you can add the chat ID, but in some automations, what actually happens is you don't have a trigger. So there is some other kind of trigger, for example, if either there's a manual trigger or there is something, for example, Google Drive, if something happens on Google Drive, send me the message. And in that case, you will see that you have the chat ID, but there is nothing to enter, right? So you manually need the chat ID. And if you don't know your chat ID, either you can just run the webhook, the Telegram webhook, or you can run this command. So you can copy this link and open a new tab. And then you need the token. So I'll open the bot again and I'll go to the bot father and it's going to give me the token. So now I'll replace this variable with my actual token. So I'll replace this and one more of these brackets and copy this token here. So now you can see I have my ID. So you can get the message ID from here and enter it back here. And if you're working with some big automation and you don't want to run any other node, for example, you don't want to mess up things and add another Telegram node or message just to ruin your workflow, you can do this. So you can open this link and add the token. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.